right, so we made a decision to uh, turn around. We got kind of a late start and it was super, there was a lot of traffic, I think because of Memorial Day weekend and we just couldn't go very fast. So uh, we made it pretty close, um, but yeah, it's, uh, I just don't think we're gonna have time to get there and get back and plus, we're going uphill. Nick's got 24 miles left on this, on the electric. And uh, I don't, he's not gonna get 24 out of it going uphill. Um, it's not 24 to go back. So in that respect, it's fine. But uh, eh. now we know it's rainy day, there's fewer people, you can make faster time. I figured I'd be slow last week, but you I wouldn't. Should, uh, cut off like a video of other bike bicycles on YouTube. Put it to yours and change the voice to like kind of like your bike. Make it make the sound from the home. You mean just like do overdubs of other people's bikes? No, like yeah, they won't know. It's like you you like you know the camera doesn't point at you. Right. So. So they'll oh, think yeah. it's you biking and you cut off their voice from the video yeah. and put over your voice. Yeah. But yeah, just uh, turned off and turned on my GoPro for a second. This is I me am. jumping off a mountain. But here I am. All our mountains in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> but here I am in Florida. <laughs> it's quite a riot. Yeah, I flew into Florida yesterday. <laughs> I know you guys saw me biking in the oh, snow. Yesterday. And then show like crazy stunts. Yeah. <laughs> Turn left? Yeah. <laughs> Did you cover? We'll be like us like photoshopped on a bike on some like Everest mountain or something. I don't think anybody bikes up Everest, dude. <laughs> well boo, you'll be the first one. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of people just died on Everest. Apparently there was a traffic jam. I'm not really sure what that means on Everest. Like maybe there was a storm and people were trying to get off and they couldn't get back, get off fast enough. I don't know. But yeah, the headline I read said there was a traffic jam. There was, a, there was an actor in Russia and they were filming a movie on a mountain. And then what it's called when the snow starts like coming down. Avalanche? Yeah, avalanche. And then they started like driving back. They didn't have time, so they reached the, uh, the tunnel in a mountain, and then the avalanche reached them. It just like completely snowed the whole thing, uh, and no one could rescue them. They uh, were like trying to dig them out for like weeks, uh, and they just give up. That's a bummer. So yeah, it's better to do it from now. <laughs> I guess it's not all uphill on the way back. Yeah. Get some downhill here. So next time bring some water <laughs> and then we want to stop. Although next time we might not have as tight of a deadline. Why, why don't we have deadline right now? Because I got to get back and eat. Get food? Yeah, I got to eat before 7.30. Uh, I have a disease called GERD. And uh, I mean, if I went to bed later, I could eat later, but I have to eat like a certain amount of time before uh, before I go to bed, so. Otherwise you have like heart burns? Yeah, uh, I probably will get cancer if, well, I probably am gonna get cancer anyway, but, um, but yeah, so. That's why I don't eat tomatoes or chocolate. Yeah, we should like make like a cheesy 1990s, you know, when like Star Trek kind of movie, dog and make like rescue. <laughs> it's just like, dog, what are we gonna do today? Rescue the world. And then we just like appear somewhere. Yeah. Paris. <laughs> no, if it's like. I think it goes through on that side, but.
We didn't get to see any of the uh, minimally maintained roads this time, but I've never seen that before. They have this thing in Egan called minimally ma maintained roads. Minimally retained. Re ah, hands off. But uh, and they say like enter at your own risk. <laughs> But that's I where like, I feel like every road is in the same pose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I um so this flooding, the road was closed and it was on one of these mi minimally maintained roads. So I was like so on the video I'm like, well, if I die, we're going to get it on video. Cuz I cuz I really didn't know how bad it was going to be. But like the road itself wasn't that bad until it was just flooded. And then I was like, oh, this is why it's closed. So. The GoPro was The GoPro was what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I turned off the uh, the voice activation, so that's not going to happen anymore. Egan is like a nice part of the city. They have like a lot of new apartments and they're fairly cheap. The only problem is commuting to like St. Paul or Minneapolis. Yeah. Hey, yup. Uh, I still don't know when Wendy's parents are leaving on Monday, so... Her dad doesn't like to drive at night though, so... Yeah. I guess we could have crossed down there, I didn't think about it. I wonder. You said they like. Oh, it's okay. You said their English is not good. No, it's not. You understand? Not all the time. I mean, Wendy like doesn't really understand them sometimes. They're particularly bad at writing. And Wendy's just like, I have no idea what this means. She can understand it, but she can't speak it. Well, maybe we should have crossed down there. It's acting like it's gonna do something, but I don't know what it's gonna do. symbol this way either by the way if you want to sell your like bikes because i know you tried to sell them. yeah uh, try facebook marketplace it's like the best place have you heard about facebook marketplace yeah did, i don't know do they like take a cut of it or how does that work um you just see when you're on facebook uh you know left all the way from but i'm saying like do you have to pay for the yeah, ad yeah, oh. based on the hmm. there we go finally Like, if 
you sell the bike, then they're gonna charge you like 800 bucks, but you don't have to pay for posting. I mean, my... I think the problem is that this bike doesn't have like uh, suspension and this is, this is fine, but it's pretty heavy, especially on the back so when you hit like small things, I think they like it impacts the bike I mean, any bike it impacts it but, the, but usually they don't have like engine or battery, so they're light Yeah So if you're like... I mean, I can feel all the bu these bumps too Really? Yeah So, uh, if you don't want to fill the bumps, you don't pump up your tires all the way, you have really big tires, that's what you do. The thing is, if you have big tires, you're going to be slow. Yeah. So like, shocks also make you slow, yeah. so, um, you know. I'll buy like one of these like, flat tire sprays from Walmart, it puts like a bulb in the tire. Yeah. I couldn't do it, it's just too hard. Unless it's like an electric fast bike. But you gotta make sure your seat is the right at the right height and you gotta make sure that you're in the right gear. Those are two very important things. Does your electric bike have gears? Yeah, that's what that is over there. Oh fat bike. Oh the fat bike has gears, yeah. It's got a front and rear derailleur. This one's only got a back derailleur. Some people like single speed bikes, but I've never quite understood it. I mean, it's less to maintain, sure, but. Which bikes? Uh, single speed bikes. Do you need uh, another water break or? They're just like old school because before that bikes were you bike had like three speeds that was like really good they didn't have like a lot of speeds back in the days i rode like ancient bike ancient bike that had only three speeds and you would have to like lift the thing here like pull it yeah kind of like what you told me to do. well the bar the bar end shifters are i think they're actually like usually on the end of the bars, but I think Kevin's is a little different. I don't really know. I'll figure it out when I borrow his steel bike. Hmm. It depends, I mean, we used to cook more, but like right now Marvin just takes up so much time that like we don't really have time to cook very much. But yeah. we started this thing, it's called Daily Harvest. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty good. What's up? We don't really have, you don't have to do much to those. You have to do much? No, you, you only have to like, like some of them are smoothies. I have a bunch of different categories. That's why I'm afraid, like, because you guys send me like a coupon for uh, this food delivery service. But uh, I have, like, do you still have to put a 
all these ingredients together and then cook it and then like... It depends on which one. So like daily harvest, it's all, it comes frozen, it's all together. Um, so Blue Apron, you have to like cook everything. I think that they've gotten better, like as far as like, like they reduce the amount of time that things take. Uh, uh, but yeah, there's a whole different bunch of different kinds. Um, and how do they, uh, how do they deliver it if the food needs to be frozen? Uh, so different ways. Uh, so like, um, daily harvest comes on uh, liquid nitrogen. What? Yeah. Uh, but a lot of them they just use ice packs, like regular ice There's packs. There's actual liquid nitrogen inside the box. Yeah, and they have like these big warnings not to touch it and stuff. But like blue aprons that comes with ice packs, they're designed to be refrigerated. Daily harvest is designed to be frozen. So that's why they use the liquid nitrogen. Because it's gotta stay frozen. No. What does it what does the liquid nitrogen look like? Uh just a powder is it a liquid or yeah it's a liquid. And it can be like cold for it takes at the time. Yeah, well it's like super cold. Um You know, mm -hmm. we, we looked at work, they made like a nuclear watch nowadays, it has like an actual like ready yeah, another one you know, inside the battery, and the watch can last for like 20 years without oh, wow. changing anything. I thought I had one more, but maybe I 